and welcome back to Daytime Ottawa. I'm your host, Barbara Balfour. We're back in the studio with Don Faithful and Cass David from Craft Beer Market. Welcome to the show. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you for having us. So Craft Beer Market actually has Ontario's largest selection of draft beers. Yes. So you guys know what you're talking about, obviously. We try. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and so you've got a really interesting event happening this Sunday. Mm -hmm. called Cascapalooza. What's it all about? Exactly. So Cascapalooza, like you said, is this Sunday. Um, tickets are $20 and partial proceeds go to the Candlelighters Ottawa uh, Foundation. Um, it is a foundation that helps children who are going through cancer treatment and their families. Mm -hmm. So it's a really, really great cause. Um, included with your ticket, you get 12 four-ounce samplers. Uh, and each one of those is included in a flight. You get the opportunity to meet the brewer and talk about the beer, learn a little bit about um, what goes into a cask brew, uh, what specifically they like to do, the flavors they're playing with, something that uh, is often very, very new, um, something that maybe they haven't done before or they'll never do again. Maybe it's great, maybe it's not. Sometimes they explode, you never know. So are these local <laughs> brewers that you'll be featuring? Exactly, so we've got 17 brewers lined up. Um, each one will be bringing one or two casks, so there'll be some uh, pretty great variety there. Uh, we've got breweries like uh, Mill Street, we've got Big Rig, we've got Bose, Nita, Beyond the Pale, uh, Calabogie, Whitewater. Um, all That's impressive that you know all that by heart. Well, it's funny. <laughs> I, I talk about them all the time. Um, some of them are part of our Cask Tuesday program as well. Um, they uh, bring in a cask every Tuesday. We tap it at 4 o'clock, and there's been ones like uh, habanero brews, so something a little spicy. Um, and we always pair them with a food dish from our craft menu as well. Um, and we always kind of let our staff know what's going on and make sure everyone's really knowledgeable and it's re it's really fun to just kind of come out and be a part of it and it's we always like to create more of an experience rather than just you're going out to a restaurant you can go to any restaurant sure. why come to craft right Cass, are you going to be on the grill at Craft uh, this weekend? You're a sous chef at the at the yeah, restaurant. Yeah, I'm some of the executive sous chef, so we're going to be working all day in the kitchen. And um, our goal is just to help people pick out, you know, meals or appetizers to go with the cask beers that they're trying out. Um, but pretty much anything on our menu would pair really amazingly. That's really what we're trying to do: is like celebrate the beer and the food together. Are there some really popular menu items that? would pair exceptionally well with uh, the beer on tap this weekend? So it really depends. Uh, it's a bit of a surprise. A lot of the breweries are keeping it a surprise to what they're bringing uh, to kind of like blow the other breweries out of the water. Okay. So we're going to get the opportunity to try it all out then and then and see what works best. Okay. So people get to choose four out of the 17? No, actually, so you get 12 uh, out of the 17 brewers, and each of the brewers is bringing one to two ca uh, casks. So they might be two of the same, they might be two different ones. So we've got some breweries that are bringing um, a, more of a floral inspired and one fruit inspired, or a spicy versus a sweet, or something like that. Um, and you get uh, 12 four ounce glasses. Okay. Yeah. Oh wow, that's quite a bit of beer. Yeah, for 20 yeah. bucks. It's a really good that's deal. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. How do you get tickets? Um, you can find us on Eventbrite uh, or at craftbeermarket.ca. Uh, all of our event details are there um, for anything that we have going on, uh, not just Cascapalooza. And you've got other events uh, that are pretty exciting as well for those who like, uh, who like their beer. Uh, you've got a brewer's dinner that comes up uh, every month, is it? Once a month, the second Tuesday, or sorry, the last Tuesday of the month. Um, and it's for those people who enjoy a really good craft beer experience and want to kind of elevate the tasting profile as well. Um, Cass is amazing with this stuff. She puts together our menus and um, she can talk a little bit more about it. So the Brewmasters dinners, um, every month we feature a different local brewery. And either the brewery gives us, you know, oh, here's eight beers, choose your top five. Or they give us five beers they want to feature. And then we do a, like a welcome beer and then four courses paired with beer. So a total cost is $60, which is great. Um, the brewer comes, talks to everyone, talks about how he made the beer, he or she, and then we get a chance to go and talk about how we made the food and paired with it. And the really amazing thing is that with beer pairing, you can really complement or contrast the beer with food. So for example, if you love spicy food, you know, pair it with an IPA, they will like bump up the spiciness. If you're not super crazy about spiciness, you could bump like pair it with a Pilsner maybe and then kind of neutralize it. So it's really fun. Um, Sounds like a science. Yeah, it really is. And like our local one coming up this month is Collective Arts, which is a very popular brewery right now. 
um, and then they're featuring some of their upcoming beers, for example, like uh, Profits and Nomad's uh, Goza, which is like a sour beer. It's actually made with Himalayan salt. So we're trying to pair that with something a little bit more fatty and creamy to kind of balance it out. So it's really interesting. We do it every month at a different brewery, and it's a great, great night out with like family and friends. Lots of things on the agenda. I love it. Do you offer gluten-free beer as well? We do. Um, we offer a couple varieties of it, and we also offer ciders. Um, so for anyone that has any sort of dairy dietary restrictions, um, you're more than welcome to come uh, to almost all of our events. Well, all of them. Um, we make it a really inclusive atmosphere as well. Um, I myself have a couple, so I, I know I can eat and I have no problem kind of coming in, and Cass is always really good with that kind of thing as well. So we're, we're pretty pretty inclusive and, and we like to maintain the experience there as well. We actually did a gluten-free brewmaster's dinner a few months ago. Fantastic. Yeah, we paired up with uh, County Cider. So it was, instead of being five beers, it was five different types of cider. Excellent. And then paired those and made the whole dinner gluten-free. And we tried to feature things that people with like celiac disease can't normally eat. Like we did a, a fried chicken, you know, which isn't Ooh. typically something they yeah. can have. So it was really fun, you know, activity for people who want to try new things. I love that you're so inclu inclusive. So once again, Casca Palooza, it's this Sunday. Can we buy tickets at the at the restaurant at Lansdowne Park as well, Absolutely. at the door? Absolutely, okay. yeah. Okay, and the website one, one, one more time is? Craftbeermarket.ca. Uh -huh. um, okay. You can also find us on Eventbrite. Wonderful. Thank you so much, ladies, for joining you. us. Thanks. Yeah, it sounds really exciting. I hope so. Thank you. <laughs> Don't go away. Next up, we have Valerie Lulu, who's the owner of Ottawa's first and only zero waste lifestyle store. She's here today to talk to us about the ins and outs of a zero waste lifestyle. We'll be right back.